Hey, welcome to Snyder and the Walmart parking lot. There's our rig behind us, and we spent our first night in a Walmart parking lot, which is kind of a rite of passage for RVers, right? Uh, Walmart's great. They allow, in a lot of their locations, RVers to stay overnight in their massive parking lot. But I want to give you a couple hints. If you're you know, driving down the road and you just need a place to stay overnight, what do you do? And what's a good protocol or etiquette for staying in a Walmart parking lot or any parking lot for the night? So there's typically three big three, maybe four actually, but three big three places that RVers use to stop and get some rest. Uh, number one is the one we're in, the Walmart parking lot. Number two would be uh, Cabela's and their parking lot. Some of them allow you to stay overnight. And number three would be Cracker Barrel parking lots, which are nice to do because, you know, there's food, but also uh, they're a bit smaller usually than Walmart parking lots, although quieter. So you can see sometimes you get some trucks coming by where you're staying. So these tips I'm gonna give you, they work for all of the three that I mentioned. Maybe the fourth that I mentioned are rest stops. Some states allow you to stay uh, extended periods of time uh, up to 24 hours in their parking lots, but rest areas on the side of highways, if you actually wanna sleep, um, you'll end up with trucks next to you running their um, generators and people come in all night long. So I don't really like those unless I have to. So before I give you those hints, could you do me a favor and take a moment and subscribe to this channel? It would really help. We're trying to build the Are We There Yet community up and we'd love you to be a part of it. Just go hit the subscribe button and hit the bell and all will be well with the world. Thank you. So let me give you a few hints in stopping at one of these places because it can be a little intimidating if you never have. And by the way, the one that we like to use the most but does cost a little bit of money is Harvest Host. And we'll talk about that in another video. I do have a Harvest Host link in the show notes if you wanna learn more about that. But if you're talking staying in a Walmart, the first thing you wanna do when you come in is you wanna to try to find an area that's off the farthest from the front door, kind of the le least used area of the parking area. And we found this over here. We're right on the edge of the uh, parking area. We're the only ones, as you can see. And we pulled up over here so that we could be out of the way of you know their commerce. You don't wanna be blocking their front door or their main access. The other reason you might wanna be along the side is because like on our rig, you cannot put the bed down. We have a Murphy bed. You can't put the bed down unless you have the slide out, which is kind of a bummer. So we need to be a place where we can put the slide out. And so by parking along this curb here, we um, are able to bump out into this grassy area. And it also gives us a place to walk the dog if we need to, you know, several times during the day. So tip number two is just don't park. Go in and ask the front desk if you can park there. Now Walmart has a policy to allow RVers to park there. So usually they'll say yes. Now some local towns have ordinances that don't allow for overnighters in the Walmart parking lot. So it's beyond their um, scope. They can't do it. But I went in, I talked to a really nice assistant manager last night and she said, sure, please just park down by the garden center, which is where I happen to park. And how did I know to park there? Well, there are some apps that you can look at and that's the third tip. Look at the apps. I used RV Parky uh, and there are others that you can use, but rvparky.com, it lists um, reviews. And so people who have stayed at the different Walmart parking lots put in the information. And in this one, it was park down by the garden center and let the manager know. 
So that's what we did. And they were really nice. And the place that we got is pretty level. So it's nice um, here. And we didn't really have to do much leveling or anything at all. And we had room to put our bump out. The next tip is to please, please pick up after your pets. Come on. Okay, we have this grass area, it's really nice. We were able to bring the dog out here, but anytime the dog had to relieve himself, we were right out there picking up the mess and getting ready to um, make sure the area we were staying in was actually cleaner than when we left it. My wife got out and she picked up some trash and we wanted to leave it in good shape. The next tip is common courtesy. Why don't you buy something? I mean, you're in their parking lot go buy something. So we did last night. Now we didn't need a big uh, refill of things here at Walmart, but as is typical during the night, as we thought of things, we kept going back in and getting more things. So including, I had the memory card for the GoPro that I'm using right now to record this go out on me. And so I was able to walk into Walmart this morning and to pick up a new memory card so I could record this. Wouldn't it be sad if you missed all this wisdom because my card didn't work? I would say try to be as inconspicuous as possible. I mean, we're off in the corner here. We were fine. Um, about 11 o'clock is when the store closed and it quieted down right away. This is a smaller town, so it's a pretty quiet area. But I found the people here to be really, really nice. The other thing I do is carry collapsible cones and I like to put those out in the front and sometimes in the back. It just depends. I don't want cars parking right next to me and that always happens. Like we'll go to someplace like Costco, we'll pull way in the back of the parking lot so we can go in and get groceries and what have you. And then somebody decides that the spot right in front of the trailer is the place that they need to park so that I have no room to pull out. So I put these out. And if my bump out has to stick out into the lot, I'll put one of these in front of the bump out. But as you can see, these portable um, cones, they collapse. And so they fit in my rig really well. They're slightly weighted, um, so they don't seem to blow away. I haven't had a problem with that yet. And so I really enjoy having them. And you should get some for safety measures just to put into your rig. One of the things you need to remember if you're doing this type of camping is that you'll want to stay connected and that's very important. Uh, they don't want you disconnecting your rig and then going off and leaving it. So you need to make sure that you're ready to hunker down for the night when you arrive at your site. I also suggest unplugging your rig from the truck so that you don't run your truck battery down during the night. Another hint is you might want to consider investing in a set of the foam earplugs. Parking lots do get noisy and you might want to put one in both ears or just one ear and sleep on the side so you hear some things at night, I don't know. But it just helps me to sleep better if I know I've got some earplugs if they're ends up being like, you know, street sweeping. Sometimes they'll send machines out at night and they'll sweep the parking lots and they're kind of noisy. So having some earplugs might help you sleep a little bit better. A couple other things. First of all, this is meant for overnight stops. It's not meant for multiple days. Um, if you stay longer, they will trespass you, they will send the police, they will tow you. So you want to make sure you get permission so none of that happens. You're in a place that the municipality allows you to park and you want to leave the place cleaner than when you got there. Because there are many Walmarts now, whereas you used to be able to say at pretty much any Walmart in the country, now they're limiting this because of liability and because uh, some travelers have abused the privilege. So don't abuse the privilege. Let's keep things going for all of us and just show them how great the RV community can be uh, by putting your best foot forward no matter where you're staying.